یا یو ہر رسول او اور میسنجرس کلو منت تو یہ بات ایچ فرام وٹ ایور از پیور وہ ملو صالحا اینڈ ڈو گڈ ڈیز انی بھی بات آ ملون علیم وٹ ایور یو آر ڈوئنگ وی نو اٹ آئی نو اٹ وہ ان نہاد ہی امت کم امت واحدہ اینڈ دس از دی اما آف آل آف یو اینڈ دس از ون اما آل دی میسنجرس بلانگ ٹو ون اما دے ور آل مسلمس دے ور آل میسنجرس آف اللہ دے ور آل اوبیڈینٹ ٹو اللہ وانا رب کم فابدون فتقون اینڈ آئی ایم یور لارڈ سو فیئر می اونلی فتقتا ہوں امرا ہوں میں نہ ہوں زبرا سو دے اسپلٹ دیئر بیٹر دیٹ از ریلیجن بٹوین دیم ان ٹو ڈفرینٹ فارمس کلو ہس بم بیما لدیم فرحون اینڈ ایوری سیکٹ از پراؤڈ آف وٹ اٹ ہیز ون ریئلٹی بروکن ان ٹو پیسز ون پیس از ود ہم ون پیس از ود ہم اینڈ ایوری بڈی از ریجوائسنگ دیٹ آئی ہیو دی ٹوٹل ٹوٹل ریئلٹی وائل دے ہیو دی پارشل ریئلٹیز ود دیم فضر ہوں فی قبر تہیم حت آہین سو پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لیو دیم ان دیئر بیولڈرمنٹ فار اے ٹائم اہ سبون انما نمد ہوں بہی مین مالی و بنی ڈو دے تھنک دیٹ ایکچولی وی آر اسسٹنگ دیم وین وی آر گیونگ دیم ویلتھ اینڈ سنس نسار الحم فل خیرات دے تھنک دیٹ وی آر گیونگ دیم گڈ نے بل لا یا شرو دے ڈونٹ نو بیکاز ایکچولی دس از ویلتھ اینڈ دس سنس دے ول بیکم دی بیسز آف دیئر چسٹائزمنٹ ان دس ورلڈ وی ہیو ٹوائس دس مز مون یو نو ان سورت الطوبہ دس سبجیکٹ ہیز کم ان نما یو ریڈ اللہ علی عظم ہوں بے حاف الحیات دنیا و تز حقان فسوم و ہوم کافرون تو ڈونٹ بی امپریسڈ بائی دی ویلتھ اینڈ دی باڈیز آف دیز منافقین ٹوائس ان سورت الطوبہ بیکاز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ وانٹس ٹو گیو دیم دی چسٹائزمنٹ اینڈ پنشمنٹ ان دس ورلڈ بائی دس ویلتھ You have much wealth. Now you have lost some and you are gone. Despaired. You have incurred a loss. You had a son. He died and you are despaired. Maybe the son has gone astray. Now he is against you. He is standing before you and you call it, conversing with you at equal level. And you, how grieved you are. He was he's my son. I raised him. And today he is, he is talking with me as equal. Rather, my superior. So this azab comes through wealth and also through sons and daughters. Inna lazina hum min khushiyat rabbi hi mushfiqoon. Verily, those who are in awe, in awe, who remain in awe for the fear of their Lord. Wa lazina hum bi ayat rabbi hiyu minun. And those who believe in the signs and revelations of their Lord. Wa lazina hum bi rabbi hiyu la yushrikoon. And those who do not associate anybody, anyone with their Lord. And those who give what they give, whatever they spend. And their hearts are full of fear. That they are going to be, to return to their Lord. Whosoever keeps fearing that a day will come, when he will have to stand before his Lord for this accountability. So that person, you know, and he restrains the lust of his nafs. Nahan nafs anil hawa. Well, he, for him is the jannah. Ulaika yusari'una fil khairat wa hum laha sabiqoon. These are the people who are racing with each other for good, good deeds, virtues. And they are the foremost in these things. وَلَا نُكَلِّفُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وَسَاحَا We are not going to hold responsible any soul except according to its capacity. We know every person, every human being, what we have given him. What were the genes with which his body was formed? What were the environments in which he was living? Where he was born? In China or Japan or Hindustan or where? What were the environment where he was raised? Keeping all these factors in view, then we shall judge them. How, good, how much good he could do in these circumstances. If he has attained it, okay, he is successful. If he fails, he fails. But you know, there is not one standard for all the human beings. No. Because different human beings, they have been born and they have been created 
with different backgrounds, different genes, and they have been brought up in different environments. They have different educations. All these things will count. And keeping all these factors in view, Allah will then judge between the peoples. We shall hold responsible every soul, but only up to the capacity. And we have the record which tells everything truly. He knows what genes were given to me. He knows it. They are recorded. And they will not be wronged. But these, the hearts of these people, they are covered and blind about these things. And they are busy in some other types of activities. Luxuries and, you know, enjoying and just babar ba'ash kosh ke alam dubara nist. Hum laha amilun. They are busy in these things. Hatta iza khazna mutrafihim bil azab. Till that time that when we seize the affluent among them with our chastisement, iza hum yajarun. Then they begin, begin, then they begin weeping and mourning and groaning. La tajarul yawm. Allah will say, no mourning and groaning today. Inna kum minna la tun sarun. Now nobody can come to your help against us. You have to bear everything. Qad kaanat ayati tutla alaykum. My ayat were recited to you. Qad kaanat ayati tutla alaykum. Fakuntum ala aqabikum tankisun. But you used to turn away on your heels and go away. And then listen to my ayat. Mustakbirin in arrogance. Behi samiran tahjurun. And you, you used to talk about it mockingly during the night. Afalam yaddabbarul qawl. Do they not ponder over this, what has been said to them? Amjahum malam yaati abahumul awwaleen. Or the matter is that to them has come what did not come to their forefathers. This is an apology for these people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is presenting. Because these people, these Quraysh, these progeny of Ismail, they had no prophet, no messenger, no book for two, more than 2,000 years. So they became absolutely unaware of these things. A thing has come to them which didn't come to their forefathers. Have they not been able to recognize their messenger? And that is why they are denying him. Do they say that he is possessed by a jinn? Or he has some, you know, mental disturbance? Bal, jahum al haq. No. Haq, the truth has come to them. And most of them abhor this truth. And if the truth had followed their lusts and their wishes and their desires, then the heavens and the earth would have been corrupted. And whatsoever is within them. But we have brought to them their admonition, their zikr, reminding for them. But they are from their admonition, and reminding, they are turning away. Am tasaluhum kharjan. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Are you asking some tribute from them? Do you ask for some rewards? You should pay me this salary. I am doing this service to you. Am tasaluhum kharjan. Fa kharaj wa rabbi ka khair. The tribute that your Lord will pay to you is much better. You are not, not asking them any tribute. Any wage. Wa huwa khairu raziqeen. And definitely. Allah is the best provider. And O oh Muhammad, you are calling them to the right path. And those, those people who don't believe in the hereafter, actually they are deviating from the right path. And and if we had mercy on them, and we had removed the affliction that is upon them, they would persist in their insolence wandering blindly. And we have seized them with the punishment. Maybe during the 
ایٹ دا ٹائم وین دیز آیات ور ریویلڈ سم اسمال افلکشن واز دیئر ٹو دی مکی پیپل جسٹ لائک اے فیمن یو نو اٹ ہیز بین دی پریکٹس آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ وین ایور ہی سینٹ اے میسنجر ٹو اے پیپل دین ہی سینٹ سم ہارڈ شپس سم اسمال چیسٹائزمنٹس سو دیٹ دے مے بی اف دے آر سلیپنگ دے مے وائٹ ویک اپ سو دیز آر دی یو نو تھنگس وچ ہیو بین کمنگ بفور دی فائنل اینیہیلیشن دیٹ از اداب الاکبر دس آیا از دیئر ان سورت وسجدہ ولا نزیقل نہم من الاذاب الادنا دون الاذاب الاکبر بفور دیٹ گریٹ چیسٹائزمنٹ وین دے ول آل بی واشڈ آف فرام دی سرفیس آف دی ارتھ دی اسمال چیسٹائزمنٹس وی ہیو بین سینڈنگ سو دیٹ پر چانس دے ویک اپ فرام دے اسلمبر ولاقت اخذنا ہوں بالعذاب فمستقان ول ربہم وی ہیو سیز دیم ود چیسٹائزمنٹ بٹ دے ہمبلڈ ناٹ فار دیئر لارڈ و ما تدرعون and they are not invoking with submission to allah subhanahu wa taala hatta idha fatahna alaihim baban za abadin shadidin till that time when we open for them the door of a very severe chastisement idha hum fihi mublisun then they become absolutely despaired and disappointed in it 